And Aziz Budabala allowed to run free again. And Cremo. And Aziz again. England having had a spell when they penned the Moroccans back. Again look vulnerable as they did against Portugal. His balance, the challenge came from Biaz. Now Waddle, who did as well as anybody against Portugal. And Lineker. The ball rolling for Sansom, and it deflects off Kairi, still in play. Back from Hoddle, Zaki coming. Waddle, the goalkeeper, still trying to get back on his line. Good defending by Timumi. And Waddle, in the end, runs it out. And it's just not falling for England inside that six-yard box. Wilkins and Hoddle presiding. Paul waiting for England in the middle. And it's Hoddle who takes. And Fennick couldn't angle it onto the target. He's shown a good sense for goal for his club. Budabala, we know he can shoot. Halifa. And that came from a surprising angle. Almost caught Peter Schilt unawares. Well worth a long shot. Could be docked. You lose one point for each caution. Waddle. Hakely. And Robson, who's really been working on making those runs to read Hakely's knockdowns, but... As Brian Robson goes down, I'm sure back home everyone is holding their breath. Wilkins straight across showing concern. He got badly winded in an incident against Portugal and all of us who were looking perhaps for a problem with the shoulder were happily reassured, but what about the fall this time? And Brian Robson, a sad figure, is making his way to the dressing room with the shoulder damaged again. And it's Wilkins who's offside. I think Hodge's presence, and he'll be a hungry Hodge, he's bright and breezy and he's not frightened to join in attacks and get beyond the front players. I think it could be to our advantage. Waddle, I'm sure, will come over on the right-hand side. I have to cut you short there, David, because Ray Wilkins has been sent off. His second bookable offence, and it's problems upon problems for England. An extraordinary lapse from a very experienced player there was just a little dispute with the decision on the far side. And Ray Wilkins, who's been such a responsible influence for almost 10 years now in the England setup, leaves the field, one has to say, in disgrace. He's let really his teammates down at a critical time. All the referees have been doing in this competition, insisting that the wall gets back. So here's Hoddle, and that was Hodge. If ever a man needed a change of fortune, the goal here could change the entire complexion of the match. Waddle to take the corner. Hoddle left unattended. When the chances come, and I suppose that was a half chance, they really have to be taken, and Hoddle just clipped it too high. The Moroccans are quite happy to defend the edge of the penalty area. Waddle, away from Dolmi, who's looking very weary. Now Hoddle. And it comes here for Hodge. It's over anxiety. One or two England players around him put their hands to their heads in disappointment and the surely lack of consistency then clearly stopped England getting an advantage from a quickly taken free kick Lineker Hoddle, Hakley this is Stevens.
Well, David, the pressure is greater now with 10 men than it was with 11. But they're showing an exceptionally good attitude, the English, now. If he would have got hold of that shot, Stevens, he could have been a main name for himself. Morocco's throw. We're into injury time. And it is all over. England are held by Morocco. The bottom line is that the two easier fixtures here on paper have produced just one point for England. And now we go into next Wednesday's final group game against Poland, needing a win to be sure of a place in the last 16. And we must do it without Brian Robson, who is injured, and Ray Wilkins, who is suspended after being sent off in the first half here.